Live from the Frost Brew Coors Light Studio, it's Patch and Lucas and Oso, Keith Oso, Rick Lucas, Vince Grippy with you today on the day that Felix Hernandez throws a perfect game for the Seattle Mariners. Going to switch gears a little bit. Got a Spokane guy. I'm sure he has a, a feeling here or there about uh, Felix Hernandez throwing a a perfect game today. Neil Everett of ESPN Sports Center joins us now. Neil, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good, man. Uh, great news for the Mariners. Uh, you know, you just kind of wonder why they can't really put it together. They've got some pieces, but uh, uh, it was a one nothing win today, yeah. and that gives you a little <laughs> bit of a clue there, Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we got the key hit in the third inning or else we'd still be playing baseball. Uh, wait, do you have any thoughts on today's game? Did you see any of it? No, I didn't. Actually, I was driving into the. I was driving in and I was listening to talk radio. And at the top of the hour, they do like you know uh, national news where you usually hear about Obama or Romney or something like that. And the very first thing they said was it was a perfect day in the Great Northwest. Mm. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and, uh, so good for. I mean, good. And they got a good. They got a walk off win the night before, and they and they got this one today. So. Good, good for all things uh, Seattle. And uh, Neil, are you? Are, I know that you you give mad props anytime there's a Gonzaga highlight on on Sports Center, and, and you always throw out the Spokane references. Do you kind of do you follow the Mariners at all? Well, yeah. I mean, that's the team I root for. Uh, okay. If I'm rooting for a team, uh, and they they had a, a Hawaii buddy of mine until recently, he got shipped to the Dodgers and Brandon League, uh, who didn't have a good year this year, but was an All Star the year before. Um, so. Uh, you know, I don't I don't root for them like I probably used to when or you know, root for the who are they, the pilots or whatever when I was growing up and the sure. Sonics and all that when I was in Spokane. Uh, when you get a little older it's you know, you just you, and and I guess probably when you're immersed in it as much as I am, it's uh hard to get all that jibed about anybody. But uh you know, hey, if somebody says what's your favorite football team, I say the Seahawks. Baseball team, I say the Mariners. Basketball team, I say the Sonics. Oh wait, they're not there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The great yeah. train robbery. Yeah. So Hey uh, Neil, coaches versus cancer coming up in Spokane, something you've been involved with a couple of years. Uh, you've always uh, given a lot of following to Gonzaga, but now, you know, adding your face to Coaches versus Cancer in Spokane uh, you know, what are your thoughts on that as it comes up for another year? Well, listen, I've been involved for for a number of years, and uh, uh, you know, I grew up in Spokane. Uh, my mom passed away at one of the hospitals in Spokane from cancer. Uh, you know, life changing event for me. So when I became aware of this event, and when they became aware that I was from Spokane, uh, it seemed like a natural thing to get involved with, and it's something I mark off on my calendar every year. And uh, if I'm in a position to help uh, Jared Kiefer and Mark Few and uh, all those in Marcy Few and all those involved uh, raise a little more money, then then I'm going to be there for for them and for that cause. And this year, you know, they've uh, they've they've kind of taken a different different route. And I think uh, hopefully your listeners will, will will get behind it because you know the, the tickets are no it's no longer a black tie event. Uh, it's tickets that are affordable for everybody, and it's a Guy who's who's laugh out loud funny, in uh, Jim Gaffigan, Gaffigan, excuse me, uh, and um, so uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Well, Mark Few was on with us a couple of days ago, and he said his favorite part and his family's favorite part is where Mark gets roasted by <laughs> several several people. Are are you going to be taking part in that? You know, uh, I have taken part in that in the past, uh, and that's you know, it's kind of funny, but you know, you kind of feel bad too. It, it's not, a, it's not, a, it's not a natural uh, thing for me now. A guy like Jay Billis, who's been there a number of years, and Sean McDonough, they're much better at it. They seem to, they seem to have a perverse joy in it. Uh, uh, and so I, uh, you know, you know, you know who really. You know the coaches take it well. You know who really looks at you and gives you the wicked stare are their wives, man. Yeah. It's like, oh. You said it was his mother. Yeah. His mother yeah. hates Jay Billis. Yeah, they, yeah, they do not get it. You know, and so uh, I, I, I leave the I leave the skewering for those that are more adept at it and more comfortable at it. Now, Neil, last time we had you on, it's been a couple of years. Well, last time we had you, had you on, we talked about uh, the great whammy down at Dix and, yeah. and, and a big fan. Is there uh -huh. a place in Spokane uh, that when you come back, it's like I got to make sure to get there? Uh, 
Wow. Um, well, got to get, got to stay at the Davenport first of all. <laughs> sure. That's, that's you know that's the best spot in town. Sure. That's where I had my senior prom way back when. Um, <laughs> it didn't back, look like back it, when it was open. It, before. Yeah. 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 It didn't look like it does now. Uh, it, well, you know, it's so nice, man. In yeah. fact, I even I even bought a Davenport bed and had it shipped to L.A. That's how <laughs> nice. much I love that place. Nice. So. Um, Oh, you know the, the whammy is the the whammy is the kind of the spot. Um, oh wow, that's a good great question. Um, most of the pubs that I used to hang out with underage, and I say that on the air, <laughs> uh, they're no longer open. Uh, you know, I, I try and get over to Jack and Dan's, I guess, because sure. of their affiliation. Um, you know, I'm, uh, when we get done here, I'm going to go. Oh, I can't believe I didn't mention that place. But uh, you know, I, I got to go down to uh, Spokane Athletic and see my man Sweaty. And uh, <laughs> that, but uh, other than that, you know, Hudson Hamburgers. Stuff. If I make it over to Coeur d'Alene, so uh, the other day I gave a slab in reference. Is that still oh, open? Oh, nice. Uh, it's still yeah. there. Yes, Post Falls. Yes, yes, yeah, that is that is disgusting. <laughs> 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 well, you, so I don't anticipate we're going to see you at the slab in when you come Not, back. No, it. listen, hey, listen, I bet I should get like a a, a, a hero's welcome for mentioning them That's out right. there. <laughs> Not such a big deal since they changed the drinking age in North Idaho. Yeah, yeah. So, all right. So here, I've got, I got another question for you with regard to the the the, uh, the great. Uh, promotional commercials you get you ESPN anchors do right. you know uh, is is there is there any talk do you think or maybe you could spur some talk about about getting a, you know either a, a Mark Few or a Mike Leach involved in one of those coming up sometime well you know I, I would see I would probably think Leach if he here's what it is if if Leach's agent or Few's agent gets a hold of Wyden and Kennedy when that's the ad agency ah. and says hey we we, we you know. Mark really wants to be in one of these, or Mike really wants to be in one of these, then that's the first step. I mean, when they want my opinion, they'll give it to me. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's your favorite one of those commercials you've seen? Uh, well, l- listen, the ones that I was able to do, with, uh, one I did with Van Pelt was, uh, was pretty funny where we had to dress up as Captain America and Thor just because <laughs> to see Van Pelt in the Captain America outfit. Uh, and uh, I think the favorite, you know, the the one I did with Roger Federer, I think, put me on the map. So I, yeah. so I'm I'm very partial towards that one. When I told him I was in the top ten, and then he wrote me later and said, "Yeah, I, I did, I I I studied up on you. You are in the top ten. And then he said, "You know, anytime you want to come to a tennis match, you know, just let me know." And I'm like, "Oh, this is awesome! The U.S. <laughs> opens in U.S. Opens in New York in a in a month, and if Roger Federer's invited me. I'm probably going to be sitting in his box and." So here came the open. So I write him back, and I write him back, and I write him back. <laughs> and I'm watching the U.S. Open. Tiger Woods is sitting in his box. And I'm like, that's my spot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Tiger, the guy that doesn't need the free pass, he gets yeah. to sit in the box, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, Dennis, you mentioned it's you know it's been a couple of years since I've been on the show. And I'm wondering, who the hell else are you talking to? I mean, why am I only on once every two years? Well, I, I actually emailed uh, whatever the ESPN email address is there, and I guess we just got to go through Jared more often because this happened pretty easily. But <laughs> would, believe me, believe me, you have been requested time and time again on this show, and my lack of, I guess, connections in Bristol has... Uh, has not gone well. Let's put it that hey, way. Hey, my, my love, my my uh, love for Spokane, man. You just you can just call me up directly. So. Done. Done. Well, now you're going to be sorry you said yeah. that. So. <laughs> uh, you looking forward to this trip? Absolutely. You know, uh, it's also the 100th uh, uh, anniversary of Lewis and Clark, and sure. uh, where I went to high school. So they're having a. They they called me up and asked me if I'd speak because apparently they crossed out 400 other people ahead of me on the list. <laughs> so they were down to me, and they were like, you know, we, we want you to spend five minutes on what you remember about Lewis and Clark. And I'm like, that's a, if I if I have five minutes of that memory, I'll be I'll be happy. So, <laughs> uh, but so that's going to be cool to go back there. I haven't been back in that building in forever. But you know, no, listen, I'm super psyched to come up for this thing. Uh, the, you know, this is. You know, I go to a lot of events, and the, and the, the Jared and Fuey and those guys. Uh, this is a this is such a top notch event. The way they run it, uh, you know, you never, you know, some events you go to and you go, God, this is great. Oh, it's kind of Mickey Mouse though. <laughs> uh, this thing is, you know, five star all the way, and uh, the the Northern Quest, what they do, and 
uh, what Gonzaga does and all the sponsors. And and I, I'm really looking forward. I mean, I keep, last time I was in the Fox Theater, I was in the balcony making out with somebody at 16. Nice. So, I don't, <laughs> so, to, so to go back and see if that that place is all renovated, that's going to be sweet. And listen to Gaffigan, who I actually went to New York and saw him in a Broadway play, the championship season last year. And I think that was his Broadway debut. So that's going to be uh, cool to see him do his co- comedic gig and, you know, see uh, old uh, Ray Jack and all the, all the coaches and that are up there. So it's a blast. And uh, really, anybody listening out there, get down there, get on Tickets West, and uh, get yourself a seat. And we're going to have a hell of a party. Well, Neil, we appreciate your time. And, and let me be the first to say congratulations on the makeout session at the Fox because that's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I just hope it wasn't during Schindler's List or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> well, uh, thanks, Neil. We appreciate it. We'll see you in, in, in a couple weeks here in Spokane. Aloha. All right. That's